It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I've just got a call from Wayne from Anchors Away Fishing Charters. He's got a fishing charter business down at uh, Stony Point, Western Port Bay, Victoria. Now he's got us onto some good fish. He's got us onto the whiting when we went out for whiting. He's got us onto the snapper when we went out for snapper. Now I'm chasing a gummy. So I'm hoping it's just going to be me and him today. Chris is working, so is Jesse <laughs> in the shop. 3.30 we're going to be launching. We've got to a high tide at 8 o'clock. He said if we don't get one in within that time, then our window's closed and we have to try again. So we're going to go out and see what we can come up with. Got us in. How are you, Miggy? Good, mate. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Now, we've done whiting. We've done snapper. Done the snapper. We're going for the uh, the grey shark. Yeah, we're going for the old gummy. What do you reckon our chances are, mate? We'll get one today. It's uh, it's pretty got good tides. Nice tides. No eight wind. Eight o'clock tide. No wind. Let's hope that stays that way. Yeah. We haven't been lucky with that. Just collect some bait. So uh, what sort of bait you reckon mate? I'm, uh, I'm pretty keen to get a squid, I haven't caught one in a while. Yeah, we'll go for some squid. We'll see yep. if we can get a quick squid, because we yep. time's not yeah, against us, but yeah, a little we, bit. We want to get there as quick as possible. Quick squid, see if we can get some grass whiting. Yep. And with my lovely friend up there, he's just got me a snook, so. Excellent, fresh good. snook. Fresh snook. All yes. right. So we'll turn uh, turn a bit of pike into a, a bit of grey gummy. Yeah, I'll, I reckon we will. All I, right. I, I like our chances. Excellent. Back out we go. I've been hanging for this. Oh, appreciate it. Lucky enough, I thought it was just going to be me and Wayne today for well, this evening, and he's brought his nephew Shane. Shane, how you going, mate? How you going, mate? He's going to be the man behind the camera. So if we do get a fish, I won't have to net it myself because no, that's, that's always going to end up in misery. But anyway, <laughs> he's such an optimistic fella. not very deep here, it's only three metres. Beautiful. That's uh, the perfect depth for squid eye, in my opinion. Three yeah, two and three metres seems to be my favourite. A lot of people like fishing five, six, but I like two and three. What we'll try and do first, Mick, is we'll try and get a whiting or a, or a grass whiting. We'll use that for bait to catch a squid. And you can use your jig. Uh, no problem. Yep. On a prong, yeah, they sort of like it a bit here, but our problem is we'll probably catch King George Warning, which <laughs> we don't want to catch them. No, we don't. For, the, for the one them. time in my life, I don't want to catch King George Warning. Not today. Not today. Sick. 
probably uh, should run over the sort of gear I use. I don't usually run over it very often, so um, this is actually a rod I use for little hard body lures and soft plastics. But I love the action and the feel of it because it's so light. It's a Gary Howard Tidal Terror, four to eight pound, and it's got a little quantum smoke, a uh, little quantum smoke 15. Just it's such a little reel and very light. You feel every single knock touch. It's probably been my my favourite light, my favourite light rod at the moment, and I've got a few. And I've been using this on whiting and everything. I just love the feel. As soon as a fish gets it, you feel everything, every touch, every knock, every head shake. I'm hoping that's the grass whiting, which it is, I think. Little grass whiting. Little grass whiting. Beauty. Little river. That's what we want. Yeah, there he is. Oh, nice little grassy. We're just uh, it's a nice little bait for us, I tell you. Beautiful little fresh bait there. All right. So we'll just one down. That's one. We only want a couple. Yeah, he's got a squid on there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, he's Bait's the first option for tonight. Back. Yeah, you but I know the missus will. Uh, the missus will be spewing if uh, I don't take home one. So we'll try and get another one. I just drop that back down. And get yep. that one. They usually come in pairs. It's been coupling too because it's got a nice little nick on the top. Yeah. Which means it's got a, it's got a mate down there, mate. So all right. Excellent. I love these guys. There's our bucket. Just buddy. bang him in the front there, Mick, yeah, and the blue one. Nice little gummy bait for us, that's good. Got a parrot fish there, put him in the front. And we'll uh, use him for bait, mate. set up for a grey one. Oh. Alright, whenever you're fishing a piers, it's really important to make sure that you're the when you're out fishing. When you are cleaning your reels and rods after you've been fishing, don't use WD-40 because what it does is disperses the grease. You want to use inox. What it does is displaces the water but does not upset the grease in the reel. Anyway, that's my two cents. Oh. <laughs> Wait, eh? What size sinkers, buddy? Uh, probably only need about a three, I reckon. <laughs> three, I bought eights and twelves. No, I only need three. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think I've got a four. No, I'll get you a three because it'll get. Wait, I've got a three. snapper sinker, I've got a three ounce snapper. Yes, a look. Uh, uh, no, no, look here. Here. This, this is all we need. You think you're having a tackle shop, but have it all alright. That's a two. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> They look the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old age. You might need some glasses, mate. Those tonics you got there, mate, we might have get them uh, for strip what you reckon. Yep. yep. Alright. Have I been hanging to get out here with you doing this, mate? Right, well, we're here. We are here. We've got the rods. We've got the bait. We've got the conditions. We've got the barometer. We've got the moon. We've got the angle. We've even got the dangle. We have, mate. We have. So we, uh, we've got our plate, knife and fork, now we just need the steak. Yep. La 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 la. 
I've got to have me parrotfish, Mick. That's fine, mate. You can have the old brass. I must have me parrotfish because, yeah, I'm just uh, a little bit of a secret, the old parrotfish. <laughs> a bit of a trade secret, is it? Yep. Not for long. So how deep are we fishing, Wayne? Ah, uh, we're about seven metres. Seven metres? Yep. Seven metres. Excellent. Full strike drag? Ah, uh, I run mine. Yeah, I run mine. Pretty tight. Yeah. I run mine in fight mode. Yeah. So when he bends down, if you miss him, he'll come back. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to let no, him no, run. No. Every, everyone's different. Some people love to get him right down the throat, but yeah, with your circle looks. Once he's on and running, if he drops that Go bait. Go with what you reckon, mate. Yeah, if he drops that bait, he'll come back, Mick. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Well, it's not a charter today. No. It's just a couple of mates out fishing. That's it. Mate, take your time, mate. Take your time where it was. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Take oh, your time. Those head kicks. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. I think we might bust your record. It's only a little bloke. Yeah, no, he's not too. Uh, I think he's, he's got a way to eat. Oh, look at that. Take your top, we're on, baby. Oh, hang on, Mick, I don't want him to get on this. Go. Oh, easy, out this way, this way, this way. Yep. Last, he's taking it. Oh, he's oh, spattered. You're kidding me. He's a good fish, too. So, trying to lift it over that rod. Yeah. Far out. He was a cracker, too, Shane. Oh, I, don't, I think he was a bit bigger than you thought, that fish. Yeah, he was, buddy. And. Cut! <laughs> Not sure about that yeah. one. Still going. Yeah, this could be a real big beast. This could be a real big beast, Mickey. Loading <laughs> up. Yeah, I reckon this is a real big right. bugger. Yep. He's on. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, that he was a um, seven giller, I think. He dropped it. I think it was a seven giller, Mick. I think he might have bit you straight off. Well, that last hookup we just got, <laughs> Wayne said, I reckon that was a seven giller. And I said, no, no, he's just spat the bait. Well, we bought up a bite off. So he was right, seven giller. Yep. Had a lot of weight to it, so yeah. Oh well. Didn't lose him. Back to cleaning the squid. No, I didn't lose him, so it was a bit, a bit off, so that's uh, give me a bit more confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if there's a big giller hanging around, they generally hang around for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, another one goes. I wouldn't goes. be surprised either if you lose another one. Because he wouldn't even felt that. Nah. Would not <laughs> felt like he just got an earring piercing yeah. and then that was it. Go on. Would not even felt that. We've got circle hooks on some of them. Yep. So. We would have just opened his mouth and said, I'll have that. Right, now we've got some nice fresh squid for tomorrow night's dinner. Well, the wife has. Yeah, well, the missus does, that's for sure. It's a, it's always a race to the plate when we uh, cook that up. Just wait and see Mick lose his fourth one. We'll just be patient for this one, Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. Small sharks are pretty docile. Nah, he's got a small shark. <laughs> Get that on camera off here. Yeah, no. Just chewing it down. Yeah. Yeah. You got him. You got him, mate. You got him? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What have we got there, Nicky? I don't know, mate, but that's a gill, I think. No, it's not. It's not banging. No, it's not a gill. It's not a gill, I don't think. Just take your time. I am, mate. Don't jump. 
Not in any hurry, mate. Just want to keep that pressure on. Yeah, don't thrust because you've turned him already. Gummy. It's a gummy. He's going to be coming up soon, mate. Nah, he's going to go right round around the back of this boat in a minute. Very well. I'm just going to clear this. Yep, no worries, mate. Got some light in the water here, anyway. Right off. Yeah, I reckon he's about 10. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, he's dogging it. Oh, that's a giller. Oh, is it a giller? Yep, I saw the long tail. That is. So. The seven, we called it right the first time. Yep. Yeah, there he is, ladies and gents. It's a seven gilly. <laughs> I could grab his tail. Oh, yeah, look at that look corner. At corner of the joint. I bet he's got my other hook, too. Yeah, he'll have it. We said he was. Yeah. I might grab his tail. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you won't. He oh, he off? Yeah, he bit Oh, off. well, we've seen him anyway. Yeah, at, least he won't, at least he won't bother us for a little while. No, he won't. He's, uh, yeah, he's <laughs> thrashing around a fair bit. And I uh, just want to check my leader. If you do get a giller or something like that, check your leader because they'll bite right up. And he has, he's made a bit bit of roughage there, so. Yeah, you might want to change. Oh, I'll change that. That's yeah, no, we'll definitely. No, nah, it's not your job tonight, mate. You're not, you're not running a charter tonight, mate. Oh, thanks. So I'll, uh, I'll still let you change it, though. But uh, yeah, he was cool. I actually thought he was a gummy, you know? Because he didn't do well, a lot. He, nah, well, we didn't, he didn't bite us off straight away, so that's a, usually slack. the indication. Yeah, on slack water too, so. But, um, yeah, no, you know what? <laughs> Gillers are still pretty cool. They put up a good fight, especially when he's just about under the boat, just dogging. Yep. When he went straight down, that's what, and he started. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah, well, I looked down and saw that big long tail, and went, yeah, well, it's definitely not a thrasher shark. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll grab him for you, buddy. He's only by one tentacle, oh, mate. Geez, so two. One tentacle. He's going to squirt me, buddy. No, he won't. There you are. Got him? Yep. Yeah, Certainly do, mate. That's it. Back of the neck there. Yep. There's another one for the wire. There we go. Oh, you're right. Yep. A little keller. He's a bit smaller than the last one. Yeah, they must be breeding down here because they've been just trashing each other. Yeah, when they well, breed, they they bite each other on the back there. I think we might back be there. a few up now. But he's um, yeah, nice bait here. Nice dinner, dinner rings right here. Now I might just um show you on camera. Obviously, we've done this a couple of times, but you may have missed it. How to humane, humanely put a squid out. Now what you do is you get in between the head. And the and the hood, and you basically do a karate chop. It goes white. Then you do the head, and the head goes white. And that's how you humanely put a squid down. There are squid spikes where you've got to hit it there, there, here, and there, and that never works. Well, it does, but yeah, that's a lot quicker and probably more humane. So, anyway, just get ready to strike. Hold this pull. Yeah, that's a gummy. I just got to remember what it's on, mate. Just trying to remember what bait is it, Mickey? Remember? It's yours, mate. It's a gummy. Got it. Got it? Yep. Got him. Got him a little bike. Oh, no, he's alright. Yep. Alright, we'll see if we get this one. You won't miss this, you've got the skipper's rod. Just take the time, Mickey. I am, mate, I am. I just want to get the pressure on him. Yeah. Not... Oh, yeah. Just take it off. Oh yeah. Yeah, take it off. Come on, baby. All right. Just get the light in here. Second shot at it. It's gonna come up pretty great, I think, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just take it off. We're sitting pretty mate. shallow. Yeah, just let me get a chance to get this. <laughs> we'll get a shot here. Just want to keep the pressure on him, mate. I don't want to skip the hook like before. Oh, that's awesome. Right. The way these fish fight, mate, well, just fantastic. Don't want to get them lying on the water anyway, he's coming up. Yeah, I just don't want to spook him too no, much. That's right. Because he'll go apo. There he is. There he is. Oh, they're yeah, nice. He's only a little bloke. Yeah. All right, try and get him towards you, won't you? Yeah. That's it. Beautiful right. work, mate. I'll just leave him there. Just hold that there, mate. I'll just take that leader for you. Yep. Just take the pressure off the net. Yeah, he's got a thrash he's like right. him. Yeah, it. jump on him. Got him? Yeah. Guess what that was, Mickey? What was that, mate? The old parrotfish. Parrotfish, eh? <laughs> the 
The old rat. The old parrotfish oh, does mate. it again, Mick. These are one powerful creature. Wow. You right? Yeah, I'm right. There's the cunt. It's a boy, huh? No, it's a no, girl. Female. Female. Oh, yeah. Perfect eating size. Just tell them about the one you lost just oh, a second yes. ago, Mick. Well, we um, <laughs> we had a run just before, and we had it just about the boat, and it spat the hook at me like a slingshot. I think I might have put a little bit too much pressure on it. All so, right. it took a bit more time with this one. I think your other one was a bit bigger than that one, Mick. Yes. Not, maybe not much, but I think it was a bit bigger than that one. But these, <laughs> this is what people come into Western Port Bay for. These awesome gummy sharks, and no wonder the way they fight, the head bangs, everything on them, everything about them is just awesome, even the way they taste. Now, hey, I wouldn't mind weighing this uh, this girl and see what she comes up at. I'm probably guessing about five. Yeah, it'd be five kilos. About five kilos. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I probably won't even need a whale. Nah, be, she'll be about five kilos. The other one had was a bit bigger than that. She's definitely a she's definitely a nice fish. Now I wouldn't mind getting a photo of this if you want to yeah. grab the camera and we'll get you a photo. Where is it? Now for any viewers at home that want to get a big fish photo. <laughs> Jesus, it's 20, <laughs> it's 20, 20 kilos, kilos now. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got a few there. Excellent mate. Alright, we've still got a couple of baits left. I think they, they need to go back out because we're gonna hit stumps in about half an hour. Yep. We'll go and get you another one. What a great fish, mate. Thanks for bringing me out here, buddy. Well done, That's mate. Great. Not a problem. That's another night done and dusted down here in Western Port Bay with anchors away. Wayno, thanks again, mate. You've done it again, mate. Whiting, snapper, and now you got us the gummy. That's it. So, mate, I'm pretty happy. You've got a good feed. We've got some squid on board too. Shane, thank you very much for coming down and grabbing the camera for us tonight. Would have been pretty hard to net that sure fish. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been would have been a bit of a struggle. But um, it was good listening to Wayne tonight because he was telling me when to strike the fish. He's, and he said, you know what? That's a seven gill. And straight away, bang, the line snap. I doubted him. I shouldn't have. And it was. And then we pulled one up and we uh, confirmed it was definitely a seven gill. Yep. And uh, he also said, uh, keep the tension on that line when you get a gummy because as soon as it comes in the boat, it's going to drop that hook. And that's exactly what it did the second it hit the floor of the boat, mate. Yeah, it dropped the hook. So, I mean, charter operators, you go out on the charter, learn by them. These guys know what they're doing. They go out every day and it's their job, it's their career. So if they don't know what they're doing, then you're never going to know. That's it for tonight and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next Waterway on Ozfish TV. Thanks for watching guys. Good on you Mickey.